Now, let's talk about the best Jack Nicholas chipping tip that okay. I had. As much as he was a great driver of the ball and a great putter, which we'll come to, he was a good chipper of the ball, especially with the help of Phil Rogers. And what he told me was his chipping really improved when he thought of the shaft being really flexible so that he had to have a nice, smooth rhythm. Well, that interested me. As a teacher, my job was to find out how to get people to do that. So I combined a bit of Ernest Jones with a bit of Jack Nicholas. And this, this age-old drill of putting a weight on a string and a club together, I think just absolutely typifies what Jack Nicholas was talking about. You want smooth, uniform acceleration. You don't want the head going faster right. than the hands. Pendulum you don't motion. want the hands going. Well, it's similar. I mean, it's not okay. vertical. It's not quite pendulum. But a few practice swings like that, keeping in time with the weight on a string, it takes the hit out of the right. stroke. And that's why I think Jason Day does this. You see so many players to the side of the ball taking a few practice swings to the side of the ball, constant motion to keep moving, and then they just come in and they have that same same little chip motion that way. So you can imagine it almost like the stem of a champagne glass, a, sort of a glass shaft almost, so you don't, you don't break it we on don't the way that. down. Absolutely. Yeah.